Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Welcome back. Today we are diving into Siemens WinCC Unified to explore powerful way to control the text visibility using the JavaScript. Whether you are the beginner or an advanced user, this video will show you how to dynamically control the text visibility like a pro. So let's get started. Text visibility control is essential for creating a dynamic and user-friendly HMI screen. For example, you might want to show a warning message only when a specific condition is met, like the motor overheating or tank level is exceeding a limit. So for example, here we are showing uh, like local remote signal status uh, through the text visibility. So here you can see right now, uh, my remote tag is on now. So if I will put it this zero, and now you can see it's showing the off status. And if I will put it local tag true, so now it's showing the local. So in this tutorial video, we will learn how any of the text we can configure it using the JavaScript. So we'll use the WinCC Unified project that we created in our previous tutorials. So we'll take the basic object text. So I will paste it here, my text object. And then I will just rename any of the text. Suppose I will Google. And I will adjust the font size and 21 and I will and after that I will come here in the property and then I will change font color white okay and okay so for this text visibility uh, we will control through the JavaScript. For that, come here in the general text and select the script option. So now we want, like, we will write a script. Once the tag, local tag, tag value is true, in, then in this here, the text should show the local. If the remote tag value is true, then here should show the remote. If the both value is false, local and remote, then here it should show the off. So for that, right click, then HMI runtime, tag, read tag. So first, we will read the tag value. So here we will, my, in, in my tag one, we will put our tag name. For that, we will go in the HMI tag. will open show all tag so from here we'll copy the let's copy local tag go back in over and we'll replace this tag with my local tag now we are getting our data in the this tag one value so now I want to read my remote tag also, so I will copy from here the my remote tag. Copy and I will replace this with here instead of the remote tag one. I will put tag two. Here I will also put tag two. 
and then here I will also drag it. And here also this is the tag. Okay. After that, um, we will take the logical f condition. If f is a condition, uh, I will select the if condition. Okay. So like this here, I'm getting the read value of my tag. So I will copy it and I will. Uh, paste it here. Control. Okay. Similar manner. I will take one more con logical condition. And this tag value. Take it. And I will paste it here. Okay. So now i will copy this value because this value will return whatever the text i will put it here it will show in my text box so i will write equal then and here i will show the local and same statement i will write it here remove so once the value two here will show the uh, local once in remote tag value two will be there then it will show the uh, remote so i will take one more uh, if condition if the both value is false then what it should show in that case it it should show off okay the statement should off but what condition on what condition it should show off so copy here first i will put the not then my tag name and after that end operator and then i will put my tag but before that i will put the not which means if the value is zero this will become one this also become and and operation it will this condition will become true okay okay that's it i will save and right click and download like the down So our project is successfully downloaded. Now we'll open our runtime. So you password. Center. So here you can see now it's showing the local because our local bit is on. So I will, if I will keep it zero, now the both bit is off. So it's showing the off. And once I turn on the remote bit. So it's showing the remote. So if I will put it this bit again zero, then it will show the. So, Alhamdulillah, we learned how we can uh, configure the text visibility using the JavaScript in the WinCC Unicode. Thanks for watching this video.